There you go. Hey, little buddy. You see a good side of me as well. <coughs> good side of me. That's a joke there. Cruising very well. And whoi! Oh, it gets really leveled nicely. Whoi! Over my head. I'm gonna show you my bad side. <laughs> Look at that. Shake it, baby. Shake it. Yeah. <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum greetings Sadi Shandong here Welcome to more RC video reviews I know you have been missing RC videos Especially RC plane or FPV RC plane videos I know everything I fly People ask can you put a camera on it I flew this bionic bird only 10 grams And people said can you put a camera on it Well people love FPV don't they So here is another FPV airplane And look at the size of this This is from LDARC A mini FPV wing Available in PNP and RTS versions and complete RTF FPV versions if you want PNP FPV just like this one I have here you can get that as well so let me give you a quick overview of this plane and then I'll toss it in the air my goggles are ready I'll enjoy some FPV and after that or maybe before that I'll show you <laughs> come on spider leave me why spiders love me so much the problem is I have only one battery it came with only one battery so which normally offers six to eight minutes of flight time when you're flying FPV cruising around. So I have to test line of sight flight. I have to test two flight line of sight and FPV. So what I'll do is I'll show you a, a little demo of how the auto takeoff works and how it takes off and give you a line of sight flight. It's, it's really difficult to see such a small plane in the sky with a head camera and flying it for a minute or so, I'll land it and then we'll fly FPV with it. So you can enjoy some FPV views from this little buddy okay so check out its specs and a little overview and a closer look this 450 xv2 is available in different versions you can buy a kit you can buy pnp without fpv you can buy pnp with fpv that is right here with uh that is right here my version or you can buy a complete rtf so i have here the pnp fpv version which you can fly with an fpv camera which already installed video transmitter here and check this out and a speedy b 5.8 ghz mushroom antenna also installed and it also came with this uh, extra canopy sometimes you don't want to fly fpv so it's really very very easy because this is uh, simply magnetic hatch so just remove this and you have your fpv system pod or fpv pod you can remove this and add this and fly it without fpv line of sight now if you notice there's a 450 mAh 7.4 volt battery and a flight controller kind of thing here as well which is basically just a stabilizer okay it does nothing more than stabilizing the plane so it offers you manual flight mode self level flight mode and level with aerobatic mixed flight mode so that means it you can keep that means you can fly it complete manual okay and do all the aerobatics only uh, you know ad advanced and intermediate pilots if you're a beginner pilot turn on the self level mode and it offers auto takeoff feature this means you just have to toss it you know toss it in the air and it will auto take off climb to 20 meters and then you can take control and it also offers uh, a self leveling with uh, aerobatic mix where you can pull some loops and rolls i believe while the self leveling is uh, still on motor is 5000 kv a small motor there's a tiny propeller i forgot the size of the propeller i will put it on the screen on the bottom you will see plastic parts to protect the wing from uh, while landing from getting scratched we have a uh, front on the front also there's a plastic part here you can hold and launch the plane two servos and two leds which also show you the status of the flight modes that the motor arm or disarmed or you know which flight mode you are flying in two winglets you have to glue them before flight because they will come off and my jumper r1 free sky protocol receiver fits just superb down here it was easy to configure the plane okay everything is set i have disarm. motor arm and disarm that beautiful sexy voice i love from my beloved tx16s whip it. yes i can whip it then acro mode, acro mode manual mode, manual mode and auto level. Disarm. So we'll start with the auto level mode and see how things go and then 
take it from there. So after you connect the battery, you should leave it for a moment. You need to leave it on a very level surface when you connect the battery and wait some time until it initializes itself. The, the auto level or flight stabilization system, it's, it doesn't have a GPS by the way, it's just a flight leveler or flight stabilizer. So you can see it's putting the ailerons, elevators, I mean ailerons up and down and it says it's ready. Once it stops moving everything, everything is initialized, leveled and calibrated. Now you can start flying it. Stabilization is working. Alright, so we're gonna throw it in the air. Arm. And here we go. As soon, as soon as you give it some throttle, you can see the elevators, they simply set to upward, slightly upward for its auto takeoff. There you go. Hey, little buddy. It's kind of windy for it, I think, today. But look how nice it's flying. Cruising very well. I see it jumpy bumpy. Controls are very good and responsive. Cruising very well. Green lights showing me that it's in uh, auto level mode. Winds are bothering. But actually, it's handling winds very well, you can see. Coming with the wind. I see it bobbing up and down <laughs> from its back, from its rear. <laughs> Sweet, what a nice little FPV plane, man. It's actually performing very well. Look at that. So I think that's enough, you know, line of sight flight. We just wanted to see how it performs, how it behaves. Now let's fly FPV, save some battery for FPV and enjoy some of the FPV views, shall we? So turn it around and bring it back. Bring it back for landing. Plane is ready for FPV. I have video feed and let's start the DVR. Okay, just double check, DVR is recording, I have a very good view from the camera, okay, everything looks good. I got the FPV feed. Uh oh it's moving really like wind is slapping it really hard so it's kind of shaky shaky I'll just try to keep it on the RC airport now we are cruising nice and slow and need to make a turn Ooh, the water is not too far actually I can test my biggest RC boat that DIY homemade biggest RC boat right here I gotta bring it here and test One it right here. Minute. So let's speak about the FPV. I'm actually having fun. So this airplane is basically for you to just fly it just like this, short range FPV and get the hang of it. It's really very, very stable, hands free. Look at that. And gives the beginners a lot of time to think, react and enjoy flying FPV with this little bird. Well, the wings are really slapping it because it's a small size. However, still, I have no issues controlling it. Controls are really nice and it's flying very, very stable. Apart from all those slappy things coming from the wind on it. So, I'm just going to climb up a bit. Acro mode. In acro mode, if you pull the stick a lot, 
to one side it will perform uh, the aerobatics so one moment let me just turn around man river is looking beautiful and whoo oh it gets really leveled nicely whoo whoo nice and when you want you can switch to auto level quickly very very quickly acro mode complete manual mode Whoa. oh man complete manual mode oh. <laughs> you have to you got to have the skills to control it but switching it to auto level mode does the job really well like a you know fail safe or rescue mode man that's a lot of slapping right there from the wind but still the way this little bird little wing is flying is amazing coming down to low level pass over my head nice and low right here climb up nice climb actually not bad making a turn coming back almost landed in the grass there flying low level dodging a tree coming back for a landing okay because that's more than enough flying you don't want to torture the battery landing right next to me maybe okay you know it's it's kind of fun I want to give it a takeoff again hold on There we go. Oh, I have to stand like this maybe. Yeah, I have to, you know, point my patch antenna towards the airplane. I wanted to face the camera. So, you see a good side of me as well. <coughs> good side of me. That's a joke there. <laughs> good side of me. So, what is the bad side of me? I don't know. What is the bad side of me? Let me see. What is my... Okay. Now, are you watching my good side? I think so. Right? Yeah. You're watching my good side while I'm flying FPV with 450X V2 LDARC Mini FPV wing. Five minutes. And when the wing goes to that area, I'm going to show you my bad side. <laughs> Look at that. Take it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back. So I'm just gonna turn around and see what side I am at now. Ooh, you're looking at my good side now. I think so. Did you see my bad side shaking? I think so. 4.1 volt left. Still have plenty of battery. Whoa! Ooh, acro mode. Whee! Auto level mode. And coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back for landing. Uh oh, something happened there. I don't know what happened. Six minutes. Alright, people, I hope you enjoyed the line of sight and FPV flights of LDARC 450X V2 mini FPV wing. Now, once again, if you want to get into FPV without investing too much, you want to have a mini FPV flying wing that you can fly in the parks in different open areas, just keeping it close to yourself, which is easy to fly, easy to control with a built-in stabilization system, and you can have fun with it. Also, you don't have to worry about things being too heavy coming into the jurisdiction of the laws where you cannot fly heavy FPV drones they become drones then when they are heavy and they have a camera on it so what I'm trying to say is that it's very lightweight and you shouldn't have any problem with those FPV laws around the world or in different countries 
So this is this. Thank you very much for watching this video. The link to buy this product are in video description. If you like it, go ahead, check it out, get it, and have fun with it. Don't forget to give this video a big like and subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the upcoming new regular uploads. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.